Greetings all players. This is another creation kit tutorial for Starfield. Today we're going to be talking about quests. You're probably going to want to come over here, hit new, give yourself an ID, a quest name, probably put this to about 40. You're probably going to have this run once. Uh, start game enabled most likely. Uh, quest completion used to, used to have to put XP right here, but not anymore. They've moved that. I already have a quest started right here. So after you hit OK, all the all these other tabs, and then open it back up, all these other tabs will be here, and uh, you can continue with your mod. You have a dialogue quest. You're going to want to put your dialogue guy right here, most likely. You want to hit New, get his ID, and then look for the look for your guy. I think that works on Starfield, as far as I know. And if you're doing a fetch quest like this is, you're going to go over here, you're going to get right click new five, you know, and then if you followed my earlier tutorials, you have your files uh, in the right place so where you can compact your file, you can do your Python coding files and whatnot right here. Script fragments. There we go. I found the word eventually. I got there. So your first stage is going to have, you know, get objective displayed. In this case, I pointed it to 10. At 10, I'll set, a, set objective displayed just in case you want to change stuff around and, you know, have this not run on start. Okay. After, you know, you should go get the stash. You know, you're going to have set objectives completed 10, subject of displayed 20. Then you can do that for 30 as well. You're going to have you know, 20, 30. Then you win. You're going to have set objective completed. Then you're going to have to have a stop. Same thing for fail. You're probably going to want to complete it and then stop it. Okay. Now, what are these objectives? They're right here these things 10 20 30 okay you don't want to get them started but you can't completely fill them out until you have your quest aliases you probably want to have quest aliases first actually but whatever if you're going to have locations uh you're going to have the crazy kit look for a location for you this is how you set it up right now i have this one set up to where the Planet content request is looking for a resource rarity of common, and then it's a get planet visited that it he hasn't visited it. It's, once it's found this planet, it's going to look for a location that has a boss chest and it's a location type that is clearable, and that is what the location alias is doing. Okay. Once we have our location and we know that there's a boss container in there, we can go to, we can create a reference alias. And on this reference alias, we're going to have this default script right here. Let you look at it for a second. Yep, it is default alias on open. You can go to your properties, you can change what stage you want it to go to. Uh, when you're fill type, you're going to have location alias reference, and then you're going to go back, you know, reference your location. And then your reference type, you're just going to type in LOCD, and it'll put it on location dungeon boss container. That's what you're looking for. Yep. And then to have repeat stages, you know, you're going to have to have your location for two and then your box for two, your location for three and your box for three all set up the same way. Since this isn't a dialogue quest, we don't have anything under custom topics or dialogues. We're not setting up any scenes. We don't have a scene collection. There's no combat. There's no favor detections. There's no services. There's no miscellaneous. There's no greetings and there's no script at the end. Okay, this is just a go fetch quest here and there, blah, 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 get it done and pops up in game. 
All right, let's say you have a certain item that you want to make sure the player gets, right? Well, you could put it in the quest alias. All right, reference alias right here. You know, this is your boss box. It has an inventory tab right there. You just chuck it in there and it will spawn in that box. And that's how you give out your looty, looty items. All right, like I said before, these XP rewards are now moved down to the stages. So make sure you put some sort of reward down here when you finish up your quest. And that is the basics on how to set up a quest, quick and dirty. I know there's probably a lot of things that I didn't cover, but that was it. All right, after you have those loose files, they live in a place, right? So you're going to want to uh, create an archive, you know, for Windows. You're going to add them, and you, where are you going to find them? You're going to find them in your scripts, fragments, quests, of course, right there. That's where they live. Yep, you know, filter by date. It was probably the last ones that you created. And then you're going to pack that up. I already have an archive pack, so I'm not doing it again. And then you got to do the same thing for Xbox because you're going to uh, go to Xbox, you know, of course. Create archive, Xbox, add uh, scripts, fragments, quests, right there. There's your quest. Add that in. And then it'll give you the naming scheme that Xbox needs. And then uh, you might want to compact the file IDs for a small master. You know, boom, and then convert to small master, boom. And then you're going to log in and upload. You can do the four little check boxes, you know, the PC, Xbox, archive, archive, like I showed you in my last video. We already covered that. So that's it. Congratulations. You made a quest. Now get out there and make some mods. Make them.